Dororo is a dark fantasy anime. It is a uh, not the first anime adaptation of the story by Osamu Tezuka. The first one was actually done in 1969 and done in the style of his artwork, like, um, you know, the curvy bodies and things like that. So this is a new update on the story. I was super interested because I've read the uh, original comic, the manga that this is based off of, Dororo. Um, now, I don't want to insult, like, the, the comic book itself, but Wikipedia says that Osamu wrote this story because demons weren't, uh, they were fashionable when he wrote it. So, it's supposed to be just a simple, kid-friendly story about a, you know, baby born without any arms, or limbs, or body parts, getting back his body parts by fighting demons, because demons were fashionable at the time. They needed something to sell. So, the comic book itself is okay and I'm guessing that the uh, black and white anime is also like that. However, this new um, adaptation of Dororo is a lot different. It's more violent, there's a lot of blood, there's a lot of killing. It's it's definitely t turns up the dark fantasy aspect. If you were to, you know, keep in line with the original manga, there wouldn't be any blood and it wouldn't be as gruesome. But this anime story is trying to do something different and I quite liked it. So if you're unfamiliar, the story of Dororo is not about Dororo. Dororo is a smaller character, but his character is about Hiyakamaru. He is um, a baby born without uh, any body parts. No eyes, no mouth, no nose, no skin, no arms or legs. Because his father has given all of his body parts to uh, deal with some demons. And the demons will give prosperity to his uh, father's land if they can have whatever they want. So. The baby's supposed to be killed and disposed of, but a uh, kindly midwife puts it on a boat and it's found by a kind doctor who uses um, uh, prosthetics to sort of raise the child and the child has this sort of sixth sense sort of thing, even though he can't see. Um, Yakimaru can still sense um, if, a, if a person is good or bad, depending on you know their actions. So if you look entirely gray, you're good. If you have little red spots, then you're, you've killed and you're probably not 100% good, and if you're red, demon. Blue, spirits, green, other things like that. So the plot of the original manga was that um, Hiyakimaru teams up with the little thief Dororo, and together they go on a journey. They kill demons and reclaim his body parts. This new story is a tad different, though. Um, the first three episodes sort of set up the... Um, the concept, we get some flashback episodes, we get an episode for each character, Dororo, Hiyakamaru, and Dr. Jukai. And then the series sort of slows down a little bit, it goes into a sort of killing monster of the week sort of thing, and that might not be for everyone, but you know, the animation's really good, I liked it, so it's cool seeing all the different monsters and things like that. And um, when we get to like the last sort of last eight episodes, we start to slow down, we get into the final plot of um, because Hikakamaru is um, killing the demons, getting his body parts back, um, it sort of nullifies the deal with his father, who's now a powerful lord, who has his, uh, a second son, and there's a lot of family conflict, and that becomes sort of the main conflict at the end there. And of course, the this anime adaptation changes um, a few things because it has to. I like the changes, and um, it's a fully realized story. It's a very adult, dark fantasy story about brotherhood, loyalty, ambition, forgiveness. And uh, it's a little violent at times, but it has really great animation. It's very similar to the movie Sword of the Stranger. So if you like that movie, then you'll probably like this story. Um, voice works pretty good. Animation's uh, really nice. I quite enjoyed Dororo. It took me a little while to get through um, all the episodes, but um, overall it's a very satisfying adaptation for me because I've read the source material. I wanted to check it out simply for that. And for me, I think it's worth checking out if you like dark fantasy.